give us a figure. What would be acceptable? It's what would be acceptable? Because you talked about Said, we mourn the loss of every civilian life. We don't want to see any civilians what have you killed done? in this. What have you done to really minimize that? Remember, Washington, uh, uh, Gaza is the size of Washington, D.C. When you tell people to move, like now, and they have nowhere to go, nowhere to go. They're striking it. And Khan Yunus, they're saying, actually, we're hitting every place uh, in Gaza. You know, so where should people go? People what should, should go. be the end? So, so I, let's take it one question at a time. Before uh, you okay. ask a question, let me answer it. Sure. People should go to the UN designated sites where that are on Israeli lists as deconfliction yeah. zones that should not be the target of military campaigns. There are already people who are sheltering in those. As the campaign moves to the south and Israel evacuates specific neighborhoods or orders specific neighborhoods to be evacuated, that is where people should go. Okay, but you know, we know that they bombed uh, uh, UN facilities and so on. Let me ask you a couple of other questions. You said that Hamas committed atrocities, right? Okay. Do you call the, the killing of 20,000 Palestinians an atrocity? So, is that, does that befit the term of Said, I was speaking to the intentional right. murdering of civilians that we saw Hamas uh, attack, that we saw Hamas commit. Mm -hmm. I don't think, and correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think there is anyone questioning that Hamas intentionally killed civilians. Right. That, is by think, let me, that is by definition an atrocity. And you don't think that Israel intentionally killed civilians? We think far when too many people. I, I, I have not seen evidence that they are intentionally killing right. civilians. We believe that far too many civilians have been killed. But again, this goes back to the underlying problem of this entire situation, which is that Hamas has embedded itself inside civilians, inside civilian homes, inside mosques, in schools, in churches. It is Hamas that is putting these civilians in harm's way. I, for all the questions, and I, I understand why people stand up, stand, I stand here, and people ask me questions about what Israel should do. I'm happy to take those questions. Right. I'm surprised I don't hear more people saying, why doesn't Hamas lay down its arms? Why doesn't Hamas move so, out of schools? So why doesn't Hamas take additional steps so, to protect so you, civilians? Because okay. we think they should, as we think Israel should. Okay, so you are asking Hamas to surrender. Is that what you're asking? Uh, we would right welcome now? Hamas laying okay, down its Hamas. arms and surrendering at any okay. point. Hamas is not an army. They don't have air force. They don't have a navy. They don't have artillery. They have none of these things. They don't really have any kind of regular kind of structure they, that, that they can conduct their surrender. You know, right? uh, that Saeed, they may not have uh, a navy. Well, I, they, I, oh, I, no, 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 no. Let me finish. They may not have an air force. They have sufficient firepower to have right. killed 1,200 people on October 7th. So don't tell me that yeah. Hamas can't lay down their arms and take additional steps to protect civilians, uh, and let, let alone moving out of all the areas that are putting Palestinian civilians right. in harm's way. They absolutely can. They could do it today if they cared at all about civilian life. My last question to you. Uh, the UN, you know, a former official in the UN, Mr. McIver, said that the most clear-cut case of genocide, the Israeli bombardment and the killing of 20,000 people thus far, is the most clear-cut case of genocide. Do you agree with him? So the State Department has a rigorous process for evaluating uh, when someone, what constitutes genocide, mm -hmm. ethnic cleansing, or yeah. a crime against humanity. Those are terms we only use with very explicit right. care. You've seen us be so, very deliberate. Let me. You've seen mm -hmm. us be very deliberate about that in the past. We are monitoring the evolving situations and are examining facts as they develop. Um, it's an extremely challenging space to get all the 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 information that's uh, uh, that uh, that might be available, but. We support Israel's right to continue to take action to ensure that Hamas can never conduct terrorist attacks like it did on October 7th again. And as part of that, we urge Israel to take all possible measures to uh, minimize civilian harm. And I've just gone through a number of those okay, measures. But it doesn't qualify for genocide. Right? I, I, I just answered that. Go ahead.